Hmm. Oh. <laughs> hey. No, no, come and join. It's all right. There's a lot of space after all. <laughs> so, what brings you to the hot tub? <laughs> I see. Well, after a long day, I just wanted to relax and wash away my worries. Hmm. Yeah. The view is really nice here, isn't it? It really just adds to the experience, I guess. <sighs> but yeah, everything has been so hectic recently with all of these trips and such. Going to hotel to hotel and flying all over the world. It's amazing, but I gotta say it is very tiring at times. But I'm thankful that I get to experience all these new things with really cool people. I mean, yeah, it's really fun to hang out with everyone. We feel like a family and it's just... It's nice to be around family, you know? <laughs> well, for you, it's a little different. And I don't mean that in a negative sense. In fact, I would say that the way I feel for you is rather positive. <laughs> well... For starters, I'm relatively very comfortable around you. Well, yeah, if I wasn't comfortable around you, I wouldn't really want to be in the same hot tub as you. <laughs> Aww, your face is getting red already. <laughs> but you just stepped into the hot tub. Is it really too warm for you? Or is it just too steamy? Ah, oh, your skin just gets like that. I understand. I recall when I used to do a lot of sports, my skin would get flushed really easily, and I would turn as red as a frickin' tomato. <laughs> that was an interesting time. Oh yeah, I did a lot of sports back in the day. And usually to relax, I actually went to take an ice bath or went to a hot tub. Two very, very different things, I know, but both of them really relaxed me, especially after a long day. So, if you see me here all the time, then you know that I'm going through a good amount of stress. Hmm? Oh, am I stressed right now? Uh, not really. I had a really good day today, so overall I feel great. Just sometimes I like to treat myself to something like this. Just look at the environment around us and just take everything in. It just feels nice. The air is kind of cold and crisp. So being in the hot tub while feeling the crisp air on my skin, it is a different story. It's just it's so nice. And now I get to spend that nice time with you. <laughs> no complaints here. What about you? How do you feel about sharing a hot tub with me? You don't mind? Well, I'm glad the feeling is mutual. <sighs> I can't stay in here for too long. Last time I stayed in for too long, I almost passed out in the water. Someone had to physically pull me out. Yeah, sometimes I get really deep into thought, and I kind of just lose track of time. When I get really deep into thought, hours go by without even blinking an eye. I don't know. I always think of so many scenarios in my head, and then I keep on going and going and going, and, <laughs> well going. Your thoughts are endless, and just thinking about something always leads to something else, for me at least. For example, I could think about uh, the color of the shirt that you wore today, and then I can associate that with something else that's similar to that color. 
For example, this. <laughs> yeah, my necklace. I just happened to notice that my necklace was the perfect shade of <laughs> your shirt. I thought it was kind of funny, but it's kind of silly looking at it now. It's probably a different shade of some sort, but from afar, it looks pretty similar. I wanted to talk to you about it, but it wasn't really a conversation topic that I thought was, well, engaging. Well, for me it is, but I don't know for you. <laughs> I see you hiding a smirk behind there. <laughs> well, I gotta say, I really do enjoy talking to you, even if it's just rambles about what's on my mind. And like how I just showed you, my mind wanders a lot, and I talk about really anything. For example, I can talk about how cool this whole trip was, and how cool you personally are. <laughs> oh yeah, I was actually wondering if you wanted to room with me when this whole thing started. In all honesty, I was really nervous on asking you because, well, I'm kind of shy and I don't really know how to express what I want without feeling nervous in a sense. But I mean, I could ask you now, but it's a bit late since we planned everything so far. And our hotel rooms only have a one single bed, so it would be very difficult for the both of us to sleep in one room. Unless you want to take the couch, which I have tried it. It is, mm, I wouldn't say it's comfortable, but I wouldn't say it's bad. I don't know. It's an in-between for me, at least. I'm not very picky when it comes down to bedding either, so you can trust my input. Unless you truly do prefer the couch, then, you know, <laughs> it's really up to you. But at the same time, you also paid for your own room. I wouldn't want your money to go to waste. <laughs> well, of course, going on this trip wasn't cheap, and I want to make sure that every single dollar spent on this goes to use. So yeah, it is a bit late to ask you something like that. Unless you're okay with coming to my room. I mean, I don't personally mind. We could have our little hangouts there. Yeah, maybe play some Uno, watch some television, and order some late night delivery. I did that last night. It was really good. I had some pasta and a little brownie dessert. It was really good. If you want, I can show you what I got. Here, I took a photo of it. Of course I did. I love taking photo of my food. Even though I'll probably never use this photo ever again, I do enjoy capturing memories of good moments before they're gone. And when I mean gone, I mean devoured. Speaking of food, what's your favorite? Mmm, that does sound really good. I should try that one day. I don't think I had the exact thing of what you liked, but I always want to try new variations of things. For example, like I said before, I ordered pasta. And there's lots of variations of pasta, which I want to try every single type. There's this one type that's really long and swirly, and I just really, really want to try it. It looks really good, especially with tomato sauce. <laughs> I'm no food connoisseur, but I'm the type of person that wants to try out everything once in my life. Even if I might not like it in the future, at least I could say that I gave it a shot, you know? Because what's life without a few risks? Sometimes you think you won't like something and it ends up being your life favorite. So, biggest motto here, try things when you can and find out what you really, really enjoy. Staying in your comfort zone is fine as well, but stepping outside of it once in a while is always a treat. It's a mystery, and for me, 
I love mysteries. <laughs> Maybe you're right. With the type of person I am, I most definitely would enjoy a mystery or two. Thinking is my specialty, after all. I feel like, in some sort of way, I could make a great detective, figuring out ways the suspect did A, B, and C. But at the same time, the cons of me being a detective is I would probably get really, really distracted. <laughs> Lost in thought is definitely an understatement. <laughs> Hey, your face is still really, really red. Are you feeling dizzy by any chance? You should probably step out a little bit, don't you think? I wouldn't want you fainting on me. I'm not very strong after all. But I'll do my best to keep your head above water. <laughs> but in all seriousness, if you're not feeling well, you should probably step out. You're fine? Are you sure? If so, can I feel your forehead? I just have to make sure. Trust me, I am a hot tub connoisseur. I know when it's time to get out. Just by the feel of the touch. So, come here. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you being so reluctant? Are you trying to hide something from me? There's nothing really to hide. This is for your safety and your health. So hold still. There you go. And let me check. How I usually check is putting my forehead against yours. Hmm. You don't really seem that warm. Well, obviously you're warm, but not too much. Hmm. So I wonder why you're so red. Did you get sunburned by any chance? It was relatively pretty cloudy out today, and I don't think we went outside too much. But I guess you can still get sunburned from that, if you're out for too long. <laughs> I guess so. Well, as long as you're healthy and safe. <laughs> no worries, I do want to make sure that you're okay throughout this trip. It would be a shame if you got sick or something and didn't feel well for the rest of it. Or possibly had to go home early. That would really suck. And honestly, you're kind of the only person I talk to here. Like I said, I'm shy. I don't know how to communicate to people without getting nervous. But for you, I feel really comfortable, so I don't have to worry about anything like that. But yeah... I know this might sound a little selfish, but I do want to make sure that you're feeling okay so I get to hang out with you more. Because being able to talk to someone here is just... It's nice. I mean, I love everyone, but I just get really nervous because... I don't know. Just overall, that's who I am. But for you, I feel like I can definitely let my guard down a little bit. I know I can. And... Honestly, that feeling is really nice and really warm. Almost as warm as this hot tub, which is getting a little too warm for my taste. I think it's time for me to step out. I've been in here for a good 30 minutes. Whew. No worries, I'm fine, but I think it's time for me to go. But hey... My offer is still up there. If you want a room with me, then I'm more than happy to. I could make some room on the bed. I'm relatively small, after all. <laughs> just let me know. I'm just a text away. 